You can just feel the energy. Downtown teeming with excitement ahead of the major soccer league championship tomorrow at Providence Park. Good evening and welcome to Queen 6 News at 5. I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. We're less than 24 hours away from the MLS Cup. where The Timbers are facing off with the New York City Football Club. Elise Haas live at Pioneer Courthouse Square where there's already decorated decorations for the match and I can even hear the excitement and the buzz going around you Elise. It's so much fun to be downtown and I am joined here by the amazing 15 foot tall and 1500 pound replica statue of the MLS Cup trophy. And while this statue stands here, I will also tell you it's a great photo opportunity. We've seen people come out all night long taking their pics, so you should definitely try that out yourself. But we were also in downtown Portland over at Providence Park while they were delivering the real trophy. This special procession to deliver the Major League Soccer Cup trophy brought out diehard fans. <laughs> All-time Timbers legends were here for the occasion. Former player Nat Borchers says this time he's looking forward to being a fan. I got, I got goosebumps just thinking about the game right now. Legend Liam Ridgewell has some advice for the team. Play the game, not the occasion. I think it's going to be a crazy day, um, something that Portland's longed for. And when I root, I root for the Timbers. Lifelong Timbers fan Ike Worth has traveled the world to watch his team play. For them to be here, I mean, just amazing. I like. I actually bought my tickets this morning. I was finally able to get some, so I was jumping and screaming. It's just so emotional. I mean, it's it's raw. It's awesome. With the MLS Cup at Providence Park, it's time to show people what Portland is all about. I think Portland, you know, we've had a, a long couple of uh, 18 months, 20 months or so, so this is really, really exciting. Be loud, be proud, go Timbers. It's fitting to have the trophy in Soccer City. Fans are hopeful it's here to stay. All right, and the match will be at 12 p.m. tomorrow at Providence Park. And if the Timbers win, there are plans to be a big celebration throughout downtown and at Providence Park on Monday. So stay tuned with Coin6 for those details. And, of course, root for the Timbers. Live in downtown Portland, Elise Haas, Coin6 News. And we know the last time there was a big celebration, it was a huge ordeal. So a lot of fans would like that victory and the celebration, too. Thanks, Elise. And I love Elise's scarf there. Uh, <laughs> Natasha's off today. Sally's standing by with the weather that folks can expect going to the game. Yes, it is going to be very wet, you guys, and breezy as well. But like you mentioned in the 4 o'clock, Dan, that might actually be to the Timbers' advantage because they're used to playing in the rain and the fans don't really care. I mean, they're so loyal. So really excited for that game tomorrow. Can't believe it's, it's already tomorrow at noon. So here's a look at your forecast. Heavy rain, breezy conditions at 11 o'clock when people are filing into Providence Park. That heavy rain continues throughout the game. So... Uh, definitely have your waterproof jacket handy, and it's not going to be warm, so you'll want a nice big fleece underneath, something to keep you warm, maybe some of those pocket warmers, too.